What's up creators, it's Curtis, and I'm going to show you our new mockups profile feature today through this video. I'm gonna show you how to create them and show you how to load them. This is an amazing feature because now on our mockup generator, either you're using custom mockups you uploaded to My Designs, or you're using our entire library of mockups, you can just basically set up a profile that includes all the different mockups you want. That includes the input file slot, the output file slot, the different colors, the different mockups, and then save it as a profile and load it in one click and generate all those mockups going forward. So it's another way to just streamline this part of your workflow and it's really nice. So the first thing I'm gonna do is show you how to create a profile and I'll show you how to load it on two different types of products, one being you know print-on-demand products and one being digital. So I have all four of these selected. I'm gonna go to mockups, image mockups, and up here you'll see load profile and save as profile. So if you wanna create a profile, you first need to go through the different mockups you want uh, select them, choose the input file, the output file, you have direct control over that. Uh, of course, the colors, etc. And I'm going to keep this really basic. We'll just grab maybe these four and we'll just keep this one black. We'll make this one white. You could just change it here, but you can also choose from our list of printer colors. This one will adjust to a different color. I'm going to go with the sapphire and then here. I'm gonna go with any color, right? Just green. So these are really odd colors. And if you had textures like Heather texture, you could turn that on too. Um, now, if I look at these, this one's saving to mock-up four, this one's saving to mock-up two, this one's mock-up three, and this one should be mock-up one, yep. And that's based on your template, right? So you can create your own custom template, and then create your own custom mock-up profiles that work perfectly with that. And basically at this point, you anything you do here, any settings, so the input file, the output file, the shirt colors, the texture, the file type, whether it's JPEG or PNG, will work, or if you have multiple variants of the same mock-up, you know, different colors, you can save that once it's all done. Now I do recommend before you save a profile, always generate a preview on all the different mockups you have just to ensure that everything is set up the right way. And then when it's ready, you go up here and click save as profile and you can give it a name. So I'm gonna say video, let's say clothing, it's video test and save that profile. So now that it's saved under load profile, under your private profiles, you'll see that that profile. So I'm just gonna exit this real quick just to show you how to load it now. So once that's created, it's always there for you. And we will, by the way, create custom um, profiles that are public for certain product types. But anyway, let's go back to mockups, image mockups, load profile, and right here, you'll see this clothing one. So if I just click that, you can see it's gonna have the exact same settings we put in place when we saved that profile. So really, you can just one click load, Go generate mockups, you're done. And that's really valuable because now you can streamline that entire process. You can create the exact profiles you want. And especially if you're using your own custom PSD mockups you uploaded, now you can just create a profile around those quickly and then go publish. So it's like just a few clicks if you use mockup pro profiles combined with publishing profiles. And in the future, we'll actually be able to link those together so that you can just do it in one action. But it's really, really nice. So you'll see here in a minute, those are done. Let's preview. This should be that Heather texture, which it is. So yeah, that's how you create mock-up profiles. That's how you load them. And now I'm going to give you one more example. I just put this in the video I released today on Tumblr wraps. Uh, should be this folder. So these are Tumblr wraps, and they're already using a custom template that's available to everybody. And you can see I got the straight file here. It's in a different file slot. That's the one we want to use for mock-ups. So I already have a profile created. So I just wanted to show you this on the digital side, how this works. I'm going to select all four. Go mock-ups, image mock-ups load profile and under public profiles because this one's available to everyone tumblr wraps just click that and you see it's quite a few mock-ups including this tapered file with the png output so it have the transparency around the edges and give you that perfect tapered tumblr wrap so this is how easy this is you just load that profile uh, and have all the settings in the right way and it just and then very very quickly you'll have all those files so we'll give that a second show and that's already done so now you can see right here the tapered file for these digital tumbler wraps already done. Got different mock-ups. You can click through here, everything looks really good. But yeah, that's how nice these profiles are gonna be. This is just the start to it. We'll, we'll continue to add additional features and things in the future, but I really think this can streamline a massive part of your workflow, especially if you're using custom mock-ups or wanting to utilize any mock-up in our library. If you have questions, let me know by leaving a comment below. But that's it. That's how you can create and load custom mock-up profiles in my designs. If you enjoyed this, let me know. Cheers.